In response to the growing demands and requirements in the heavy equipment sectors, in the late 1940s, the Peterson Company introduced one of its first iconic designs, which was presented as the Twin D8. This machine aimed to meet the need for more horsepower and a wider blade capacity. So, lacking a single unit that provided these qualities, it served as a provisional solution. As its name suggests, it essentially consists of two D8 bulldozers joined side by side with a single control console for operating the entire machine. Only three units were ever built, each with a specific purpose. One of these units, nicknamed the Super Push Cat, was constructed to operate at the Hungry Horse Dam in Montana and featured a 6.7 meter blade. A second unit was developed for use in coal stockyards in Ohio and had a 6.1 meter wide and 1.8 meter high blade with side wings, boasting a capacity of 23 cubic meters. Finally, the last unit built was designed for continuous clearing at King Ranch in Texas and was equipped with a special blade that allowed it to fell mesquite trees up to 12 meters tall and remove deep stumps. This unit was 0.76 meters wider than the previous versions and had nearly one meter of ground clearance due to its heavy brush clearing duties. Although Peterson only built three units, they later offered a conversion kit for sale. Introduced in 1961, Caterpillar's D9 Bulldozer is undoubtedly one of the brand's most iconic and popular models. With a power output of 385 horsepower, this machine has become a benchmark in its category. Like its predecessor, the D9 served as the basis for various designs and prototypes aimed at increasing its power through modifications. Peterson, taking advantage of this versatile platform, developed a project similar to the earlier Twin D8. Known as the S by S D9, this bulldozer was designed to push a 7.3 meter bulldozer blade. However, the company also came up with a new concept involving the connection of two D9 bulldozers, one pushing the other. In 1968, Caterpillar acquired the rights to this innovative Peterson project, which became known as the Dual D9, DD9 or Quad9. This model was offered directly from CAT's production lines. The main idea behind this combination was to harness the 770 horsepower generated by the ensemble to power scrapers, allowing them to operate faster and more efficiently. Despite the advantages offered by the DD9 model, it did not achieve the expected success for Caterpillar. Several factors, including the cost of acquiring and adapting two bulldozers, as well as the emergence of more powerful and efficient models for performing the same tasks, contributed to these projects not becoming widely adopted solutions. Melro is a company known for having been the former parent company of Bobcat skid steer loaders. During its operation in the 1970s, the company manufactured a model of wheel bulldozer known as the Melro 870. This bulldozer was focused on operations in high-capacity mines that required machinery to push large loads of material over long distances. This unit was powered by two engines generating an impressive combined power of 670 horsepower. Each engine was linked to its own transmission and controlled an independent side of the machine. 
This allowed for control of acceleration and direction by varying the speed of each side, making it possible for this huge bulldozer to pivot in place. Despite its outstanding capabilities, the M870 had a short production run of only five years, and only 10 units were manufactured. However, in 1990, another company remanufactured some of these units and marketed them under the name M880. This improved version featured larger engines, raising the total power to 850 horsepower and a top speed of 22 kilometers per hour, despite its weight exceeding 100 tons. Although the Melro 880 was originally intended for earth-moving tasks in mines and, in some cases, agricultural applications, the few units that are still in operation today are often used as ballast tractors. The Lampson Company employs at least two of these bulldozers in conjunction with their Hendrickson 360 Beauty and Beast trucks for oversized cargo transport tasks. As part of Caterpillar's many developments in its 100 years of existence, the bulldozer known as the M105 Deployable Universal Combat Earth Mover joins the list of specialized military equipment produced by CAT. Developed in 1995, it was designed to provide support to personnel in conflict zones, performing road and runway maintenance, replacing the CAT D5 bulldozers that were already in service with the U.S. military. This machine was deployed in 1999, with a fleet consisting of 227 units. Notably, because it is made up almost entirely of commercial parts, around 80%, it can receive maintenance and spare parts replacements through Caterpillar's global distribution network. Equipped with a 265 horsepower diesel engine, it can reach a top speed of 53 kilometers per hour. Additionally, it offers a travel range of up to 320 kilometers or up to 10 hours of continuous earth-moving work. Another of its outstanding features is that it can be equipped with rubber tracks, allowing it to travel on urban roads or public highways without damaging the surface despite its weight of 16 tons. Furthermore, this unit is quite convenient for the military, as it can be transported by air in a Hercules C-130, the most common military transport aircraft. This requires a 20-minute preparation, and once on the ground, it can be reassembled in just 30 minutes. Caterpillar's 824 and 834 wheel dozers are highly versatile and efficient industrial machines used in heavy-duty applications that are known for their ability to handle large volumes of materials, such as wood chips or coal. These dozers can be equipped with CAT C18 engines that offer a maximum power of up to 554 horsepower. With an operating weight of around 50 tons, these machines can reach speeds of up to 38 kilometers per hour. The articulated steering they have allows for easy maneuverability, which is very useful in loading and transporting large amounts of materials, especially in tight spaces. To better adapt to the handling of large volumes, these machines can be equipped with special dozer blades. These blades not only allow for precise and productive leveling, but are also known for maintaining load control and increasing material movement capacity. This is achieved through their extended wings, which improve the machine's maneuverability with large loads, offering loading capacities of up to 23 cubic meters for coal or 27 cubic meters for wood chips. Regarding their dimensions, these dozers have a hood height of approximately 3.4 meters and a length of nearly 12 meters when the blade is equipped and in the working position. Due to these dimensions, articulated steering plays a fundamental role in the maneuverability and efficient operation of the machine. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We can't wait to see you in the next one.